स्टूडेंट्स लेट इज कंसिडर सम मोर प्रॉब्लम्स द ऑम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ ऑसोलेशन ऑफ ए पॉर्टिकल इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव ऑम्पलीट्यूड इज गिवे इफ इट्स टाइम पीरियड इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड टाइम पीरियड फाइंड वेलासिटी एट मेन पोजिशन सी if this is simple pendulum and if it is oscillating see here its velocity is zero and it, as it is coming down its velocity gradually increases and at mean position it will have maximum velocity here it will have maximum velocity as it is coming down velocity gradually increases and becomes maximum at mean position so first one velocity is at mean position is maximum and maximum velocity is a omega now a is available omega mm, omega means 2 pi by capital t 2 pi by t value 1.5 second is equal to 4 so v maximum is equal to a omega is equal to a is 0.05 and this is 4 that is equal to meter per second so similarly next second one second one is the acceleration at extreme position see for acceleration the expression is omega square x if displacement increases acceleration also increases so when displacement reaches maximum value see as you are moving from mean position to extreme position the displacement is increasing gradually and here it is maximum if x is maximum y also maximum so at extreme position y is maximum okay so y maximum is equal to a omega square because x becomes a say as you are moving from mean position to extreme positions x value is increasing and when it reaches extreme position its value becomes maximum and maximum displacement is called amplitude so here you substitute a value so a omega square a maximum is equal to a omega square the equation for displacement of a particle executing a such thing is this find velocity at 3 cm from mean position so expression for velocity is minus omega a square minus y square so here omega is required now what we have to do let us write the equation here phi sin 2 pi t e sin omega t 
here nothing is there means zero now comparing a is equal to 5 omega is equal to 2 pi now here substituting 5 a value 5 phi square minus and the displacement is 3 centimeters 3 square here Now, second one, acceleration after 0 0.5 second. So, actually, the expression for acceleration is this. But here, displacement y is given. So let us write right now after 0 0.5 second after leaving mean position means t value 0 0.5 second so omega is already available now y t value is required so for that let us write the given y t value phi sin 2 pi t so time 0 0.5 seconds But sine phi value zero, zero into something zero. So here sorry here acceleration expression for acceleration. This is expression for acceleration. Now so acceleration after zero point five seconds, no? Omega value 2 pi and this is 0 is equal to 0 meter per second square. This is the answer. The velocity of a particle under SHM at the mean position velocity at mean position is maximum so v maximum is given okay find the velocity of the particle at the point where the displacement from the mean position is equal to half the amplitude so velocity at x is equal to a by 2 is asked okay let us write expression for velocity So this is the expression. So now V at x is equal to A by 2 is omega. So in place of x you substitute A by 2 and we get A square minus A square by 4 that is equal to 4a square minus a square 3a square root 3 by 2 
ये है ओमेगा बट ये ओमेगा इज एक्सप्रेशन फॉर मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी एंड वी मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज गिवेन सो वी गेट रूट थ्री सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड The frequency of a particle under SHM is 12 Hz. Its amplitude is 4 cm. Its initial displacement is 2 cm towards positive extreme position. Write its equation for displacement. So, you generate the equation for displacement is. x is equal to y cos omega t plus pi. Now let us write the data given. Frequency is given. And amplitude is given. Initial displacement is given. Okay. Now, to write the equation, what is required? Y is required. It is there. Now, omega is required. Omega means two pi by capital T, or two pi into one by t. But one by t means frequency. Frequency is given. So omega is ready. Next uh, t value, it will be variable. Next pi initial phase. So here initial displacement is given. X zero means. Initial displacement means at t is equal to zero. So x zero is nothing but x at t is equal to zero. So let us substitute here in this. In place of t, you write zero. So x zero is equal to a cos pi. X zero is given two centimeters. Capital A given four centimeters. Cos pi. Or cos pi is equal to two by Four. This one by two. So this implies y is equal to. For what angle cos gives one by two? Sixty degrees. Or pi by three. Now let us write the equation. X is equal to y. Y means four. Four cos omega. Omega means twenty-four pi. T plus pi means pi by three. So this is the answer. A particle under SHM with frequency 5 Hz and amplitude 2 cm is initially in the positive extreme position. Write its equation for displacement. So let us write the data first. 
mu is equal to 5 hertz amplitude 2 centimeter and he is initial in the positive extreme position the particle is initially in the positive extreme position positive extreme position means see here this is mean position plus a minus a. so it is initially in the positive extreme position this is the positive extreme position it means initially means at t is equal to 0 and at t is equal to 0 the displacement is plus a. now let us write standard form x is equal to a cos omega t plus pi in this let us substitute say if here x is equal to a a cos omega into 0 plus pi that is equal to a cos pi a is equal to a cos pi a and a gets cancelled cos pi is equal to 1 this is pi is equal to 0 degrees so this equation can be written as x is equal to a cos omega t now a value is available and so this also x is equal to a cos omega means 2 pi mu into t x is equal to a means 2 centimeters so Two cos two pi into five t this is the answer. A particle is performing SHM. Its path length is 8 cm. Path length means AB plus BC. See, this is 0, this is A. So here to here, the distance is A. Amplitude. Here to here, amplitude. So a plus a that is 2a path length so 2a is equal to how much 8 centimeters a is equal to 4 centimeters time period t is equal to 0 0.2 second omega, if omega is required omega is equal to 2 pi by capital T 2 pi by 0 0.2 10 pi if the particle is initially in the mean position say for this equation is required for displacement now if the particle is initial initial means t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 where is that mean position mean position is x is equal to 0 let us substitute these values in this x is equal to 0 is equal to a cos 
में पॉइंट जीरो प्लस पाई और कॉस पाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो सॉरी ये कॉस पाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मींस कॉस पाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो बाई ये इज इक्वल टू जीरो पाई इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्रीस Now find the time at which it will be four centimeter. Again, we make use of this equation. At t is equal to t, the displacement is four centimeters. So here four is equal to ये कैपिटल ये इज फोर सेंटीमीटर्स कॉस वो मेगा टेन पाई प्लस पाई पाई वैल्यू पाई बाई टू सो टेन पाई मीन्स इट इज जीरो ओनली वाई मीन्स ये सब दिस इज़ जीरो, टू पाई, फोर पाई, सिक्स पाई, सेवन पाई, एट पाई, नाइन पाई, टेन पाई। फिर वी कम टू द जीरो पोजीशन ओनली। सर हियर At t is equal to t, x is equal to 4. Let us substitute here. x, x is 4. A cos omega means 10 pi. 10 pi t plus pi value pi by 2. Now, capital A value also given. 4. Mm, we got 4. This and this gets cancelled. Cos 10 pi t plus pi by 2 is equal to 1. Actually, cos 0, cos 0 degrees is equal to 1. Cos 0 is equal to 1. It means this is equal to zero. Ten pi t plus pi by two is equal to zero. Or ten pi t is equal to minus pi by two. Or Pi, pi gets cancelled. T is equal to one by two. This ten becomes down. One by twenty, and that is equal to zero point zero five second. A 20 gram particle moves in SHM with a frequency 3 oscillations per second. So, mass is given. Afterwards, frequency is given 3 oscillations per second. Amplitude is given. Through what total distance? does the particle move during one oscillation see one oscillation means suppose the bob is here from left extreme position to right extreme position it is moving and coming back 
this makes one oscillation moving forward and coming back so in during moving forward it is traveling a distance of a plus a to a and while coming back also to a so the total distance traveled in one oscillation is equal to 2 pi plus 2 pi to 2a plus 2a that is 4a that is 4 into uh, 5 20 centimeters now what is its average speed see average speed total distance by time taken time taken so this is total distance in one oscillation total distance in one oscillation and time taken for one oscillation see total distance in one oscillation is 20 centimeter time taken for one oscillation is nothing but time period that is time period so time period is equal to um, 2 pi by omega ah sorry time period is just reciprocal of frequency because nu is equal to 1 by t that you know or t is equal to 1 by nu nu value 3 so capital T is equal to 1 by 3 20 by 1 by 3 that is equal to 60 centimeter per second this is the average speed a particle of mass 2 grams mass is 2 grams that is 0.002 kg executing a session with frequencies given frequency nu is equal to 10 hertz so find its k p and t when its displacement is 1 centimeter okay amplitude is given 4 centimeter that is 0 0.04 meter now first let us find let us write expressions for p p is p at uh, let us write like this p at x is 1 by 2 kx square and k at x is 1 by 2 k a square minus x square and total energy by adding this and this we get 1 by 2 k square so here k value not given uh, we know that k 
is equal to m omega square k is equal to m omega square mass is 0 0.002 omega value is required so here this is omega is equal to 2 pi nu 2 pi into 10 that is 20 pi 20 pi whole square that is 0 0.8 pi square now first one potential energy at 1 centimeter that is say 1 centimeter means 0 0.01 meter ok 1 by 2 k value 0 0.8 pi square into x square x is 0 0.01 full square so that 0 0.4 pi square into 10 power minus 4 joules second one k at x is equal to 0 0.01 meter so it is easy to find instead of this let us find the total energy total energy formula 1 by 2 k a square at any place uh, total energy is constant it doesn't depend upon position um, on the path therefore 1 by 2 into k value pi square into capital A 0 0.04 so we get full square so here we get 0 0.4 pi square into and this becomes 16 into 10 power minus 4 so here six point four pi square into 10 power minus 4 joules this is total energy now kinetic energy it x is equal to 0 0.01 meter see kinetic energy we get kinetic energy by subtracting potential energy from total energy total energy is 6.4 pi square into 10 power minus 4 potential energy you got uh, 0 0.4 pi square into 10 power minus 4 so here 6.4 minus 0 
six. So in this way, we get the value. Now, second one, find the key at main position. Actually, key is maximum at main position because velocity is maximum. If velocity is maximum, key also becomes maximum. And the uh, maximum key is um, the, for this the formula is 1 by 2 k square k is maximum means p is 0 so at mean position it equals the total energy 1 by 2 k square just now we found out how much this value 6.4 find P at extreme position at extreme position displacement is maximum therefore potential energy also maximum and maximum potential energy is nothing but 1 by 2 k square and the same value A particle of mass 0 0.5 kg, mass is given, is executing a SHM along a straight line. Its path length is 10 cm. Path length means A plus A to A. and time period is 8 seconds find k p and t when phase angle is given when phase angle is pi by 6 radians ok oh, phase angle is pi by 6 radians right Now, see, find for this, let us write the expressions first P one by two K X square, but here X value is not given, uh, K value is not given. We know that. K is equal to m omega square. So x square potential energy and kinetic energy one by two k a square minus x square. M omega square a square minus x square and total energy is 1 by 2 k a square that is 1 by 2 m omega square a square so these are the expressions so now phase angle see these values are asked at this phase angle so let us write expression for displacement x is equal to a cos omega t plus pi
this is phase angle so phase angle is pi by 6 so a cos pi by 6 cos pi by 6 value root 3 by 2 so at this so x value is this much here x is equal to root 3 by 2 into capital A given 0 0.05 meter and this is equal to 0 0.0433 meter so x value came now we want k value k is equal to m omega square mass is 0 0.5 omega see here let us calculate omega omega is equal to 2 pi by capital T 2 pi by 8 pi by 4 pi by 4 so here pi by 4 whole square 0 0.308 so now let us know the data now let us find potential energy 1 by 2 kx square 1 by 2 into k value 0.308 into x value 0.04 so that gives x value 0433 whole square so this gives 2.887 into 10 power minus 4 joules now let us find total energy 1 by 2 k square capital A 0 0.05 and that is equal to 3.85 into 10 power minus 4 joules now kinetic energy is equal to total energy minus potential energy this is 3.85 and this is 2.87 into 10 power minus 4 column This is kinetic energy. 